It's um, a gathering of about 20 to 30,000 scientists and uh, clinicians from all over the world. And they discuss the latest findings ranging from basic to clinical research. Of course, this year due to a COVID, it was a virtual meeting, but that actually led to an even larger turnout. So not only do we have at MSK one of the largest of programs within the country specialized of the, uh, on the study and the clinical care of blood cancers, but we're also uniquely focused on uh, improving a patient care and outcomes through our uh, research. So we had this year at ASH, we had 96 uh, talks and uh, posters. And of course, in this shorter video, I cannot uh, cover all of them. So I'm just going to give you a few highlights and I will focus that a little bit more on the clinical abstracts. So let's start with Dr. Anthony Mato. He was very busy at this meeting, had a number of talks and posters, and I'm just going to highlight two of his uh, talks. The first one was a novel triple uh, regimen where he used the drugs in three different uh, categories and showed efficacy and the safety both for a CLL and for large cell a lymphoma. And in a second study, he used a novel type of BTK uh, inhibitor called LOXO305 and showed the safety and the efficacy of this drug for CLL. Dr. Epstein Peterson uh, presented the uh, sequential use of different chemotherapy uh, regimens, such as r chop and r hydec in a, a combination with lenalidomide. Um, and he showed efficacy in a subset of uh, patients with mental cell lymphoma. Dr. Jokorsa uh, presented a new uh, regimen that can be used for allogeneic bone marrow uh, transplantation, where she used radio uh, immunotherapy with a personalized and very precise uh, targeting of the drug, uh, which makes it possible now to offer a patients with active uh, disease uh, who would normally not be eligible for a bone marrow uh, transplantation to still undergo an allogeneic bone marrow uh, transplant, which is in many cases their only chance for a cure. Dr. Stephen uh, Horwitz uh, discussed a new uh, compound which blocks a molecule called CD47 which is a molecule that many uh, tumors have and uh, which they use to uh, defend themselves from being um, attacked and being uh, susceptible to the uh, immune system. What he demonstrated by blocking the blocker is the efficacy and the safety of this drug for a, a variety of blood cancers. Dr. Corday showed a very nice um, study where she was using wearable uh, devices and demonstrated how they can be used to constantly monitor how a patients uh, tolerate certain types of therapies. An area that was, um, again, a primary focus for many studies was the field of the CARP T cells. Um, so that's a type of cell therapy that over the last years uh, has been uh, demonstrated to be specifically uh, beneficial for blood cancers. Um, and the way that that works is that you take lymphocytes from a patient and then engineer them to be better at killing a cancer cells. Our center has always been one of the leading centers within this field. And I'm just going to highlight two basic studies, one by Dr. Jane from Dr. Satellane's lab, who demonstrated some new insights how a gene TET2 might play a critical role in differentiating if a car cell can proliferate or can kill uh, cancer cells. And a second study by Dr. Klett from Dr. Scheinberg's lab, who demonstrated in uh, preclinical studies how he could specifically engineer the CAR T cells using some tricks of how a, a T cell actually uh, recognizes an antigen um, and make that work against an antigen NDC80, uh, which is found on many different types of blood cancers. Study by Dr. Palomba demonstrated that a new type of CD19 CAR cell called lysocell had very promising efficacy and specifically lower, uh, lower toxicity in uh, patients with uh, refractory and relapsed mental cell lymphoma. Finally, Dr. Malencody uh, presented a first in man study using a very uh, special type of a CAR cell, a universal one. So one that you can use as an off the off the shelf a drug. Uh, the one that he studied was one that could uh, recognize an antigen BCMA 
which has been uh, demonstrated on many myeloma cells and can be used as a, a target to now make a, a universal CAR cell for a myeloma. And in this early study, he actually showed promising safety and efficacy. So overall, this was a very um, exciting meeting, which showed uh, progress at all levels in terms of the basic science to understand how certain blood cancers uh, work, and also showed um, on the other side of that spectrum that some new therapies are very promising and uh, hopefully will go soon into phase three studies. Thank you very much. Thank you.